Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Caroline. Welcome back to part four of our course on Xcode tips and tricks. Over the next couple of videos, we're going to be looking at the workspace, project and target hierarchy. In this video, we'll also take an in-depth look at frameworks and even create a new reusable framework for the checkbox control. When you create a new project, a workspace is automatically created for you. As we'll see later, you can add other projects and documents into your workspace so that you can access modules from those other projects. Adding a project to the workspace doesn't duplicate it. The workspace just holds a reference to where the project is on disk. When you first create a new project, a target is automatically created as well. This target contains instructions for building an app. When you build and run, you select a specific target. But you can also have multiple targets within a single project if you want to build similar apps, but just using a few different files. In the next video, we'll take a closer look at how and why you'd create new targets. So why would you use multiple projects in a workspace? Frameworks and projects that build a single result are called modules. You can add these modules to a workspace and all the files in that workspace are visible to all the other modules. So long as your types are declared as public, then each module can use code from other modules. The compiler will look at the dependencies of the product it's building and compile all of the dependencies first. An example of a module is UIKit which you import wherever you need to use UIKit objects. For example, when we first create a new project, we're given a project within a workspace. You won't see this workspace as it's actually embedded inside the project package file. The checkbox in the Xcoder sample app is a good example of a control that we might want to use in multiple projects. So we can create a new framework project which will include all the checkbox files, and then include this framework project in your original workspace. We now have our original project and the checkbox module in there. Later on, we might start a new project, which will give us a new workspace. And we can include the same checkbox framework project in this new workspace. The same checkbox framework is now in two different workspaces. Another example for using a workspace could be if you have a Ray Wenderlich book and you're doing a series of tutorials from it. You could create a workspace and then do each chapter in a new project all under the umbrella of the single workspace. This way you can easily look back at the code from the previous projects within the workspace. You've probably heard of CocoaPods. CocoaPods is a dependency management tool. When you set up a CocoaPod to use with your project, CocoaPods will create a workspace for you and your project and all the pods that your project depends upon will be inside that workspace. So now let's have a look at the file structure in Finder and create a useful and reusable framework module from the checkbox code we already have in the Xcoder sampler project. Right-click the top-level Xcoder and choose Show in Finder. And right-click this Xcode proj file and choose Show Package Contents. And here you can see the project.exe workspace file is embedded within the project file. And that's the structure that was created for us. So now let's separate out the checkbox code into a new framework project. Back in Xcode, create a new project using the framework template. File New Project and choose Cocoa Touch Framework. Give it the name Checkbox and don't include unit tests. And we'll put it in the same folder on the desktop as the Xcoder project, but it could be anywhere on your disk. This is the default framework project created from the template. And now we're going to copy files from the Xcoder project to this new one. Right click a file in checkbox and choose add files to checkbox. Navigate to the Xcoder folder and choose all the files needed for the checkbox. 
And these are checkbox.swift, extensions, images, colors, and types. Click on options. Make sure copy items isn't if needed is checked and create groups and click add. Open up the extensions folder and we don't need the NS manage object files as we're not using core data in this project. So we'll delete those files. These two extensions allow access to named colors and images. And I've created some enums for type safety in case I type the wrong name for the color or the image. I'll remove the code that doesn't refer to the checkbox from the extensions and that's keyboard and navigation. We're going to have in our two separate projects an enum of the same name asset identifier with two different sets of values, but there won't be a conflict because they're in two different modules. However, there is a problem where Xcode doesn't use the correct asset catalog. So we'll change the init code to reference checkbox asset catalog. And I'll copy this code into the UI image extension. This will now always refer to the asset catalog within the checkbox module. In colors.assets, delete the colors we don't need. And in image assets, delete them all apart from the check mark. And build to make sure we've copied everything over. This should build correctly and we now have a checkbox.framework project built. At this point, before we load checkbox into Xcoder, it's a good idea to quit Xcode completely and restart it. Open up Xcoder again. And now I'm going to delete the checkbox files from this project. Before you do this in your own projects, make sure that you've taken a backup first because sometimes you just need to start over. So delete checkbox.swift and delete the checkbox colors from colors.assets and the checkmark image from images. And we don't need the UI image extension anymore. So we can delete UI image.swift. In UI color.swift, we'll take out references to the checkbox colors should just have keyboard and navigation colors in there. And delete types.swift as we don't need that either. And now our Xcoder project is in a terrible state and won't compile. Right click Xcoder at the top of the project navigator and choose add files to Xcoder. Find checkbox.xcodeproj and add that to the workspace. Option click checkbox to open up all the, the groups so that we can see all the files. I've added checkbox as a sub project in the Xcoder workspace, but I could equally well have created a top level workspace and then added Xcoder and checkbox to that workspace. To be able to access all the code in the assets within the checkbox bundle, we need to add the checkbox framework to the Xcoder target. So click on Xcoder at the top and choose the target and drag checkbox.framework to embedded binaries. This will make sure that the compiler links against this framework when it builds the Xcoder app. The compiler will also build checkbox to make sure it compiles before building Xcoder. Our next task is to get the project to compile. We're referring to checkbox from Xcoder, so all those types within the checkbox module need to be made public. In checkbox.swift, make the protocol public and the class, the delegate properties user elsewhere, and so is is checked. In types.swift, filters already public. Choose checkbox from the schemes up at the top. And now when we compile, we're making sure that checkbox compiles on its own. And you can see from the compile errors where things are referred to. So we need the initializer to be public and touches began and intrinsic content size. 
and the framework checkbox now compiles. Switch the scheme at the top to Xcoder and this will still fail to compile. We've still got errors because in the Xcoder project we're not importing the checkbox framework into the relevant Swift files. Just like you import UIKit to be able to use the UIKit framework, we'll have to import checkbox and the compile errors will tell you where you need to import. And finally, it compiles. Check the simulator and build and run. And we get another crash. It's telling us we have an unknown class in Interface Builder. We've used checkbox in main.storyboard. So go to main.storyboard and in shortcuts view controller. Click on the checkbox and in the Attributes Inspector, change the module to checkbox. Build and run. And now everything works fine. We've now built a completely separate standalone framework in its own folder on disk. And we can use this checkbox control in any other project we create. That's it for this video tutorial. But as always, we like to end with a challenge. My challenge to you is to create a new project and incorporate the checkbox framework into it. You'll put a checkbox view onto the main view. You'll see from this challenge that the checkbox framework is truly portable and you can use it in any of your other projects. If you get stuck or you're having problems, check out the challenge video solution for the answer. In the next video, we're going to look at schemes and targets, and we'll create a new target for a teaser version of Xcoder, where only five shortcuts are allowed. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. In your challenge, I asked you to create a new project and incorporate the checkbox framework into this. So here's how I do it. First, quit Xcode because when you import frameworks, Xcode doesn't like it if the framework is already being used in another project. Restart Xcode and create a new project, single view app, and I'll call it my project. I'll place it in documents to keep it away from Xcoder. Now right click my project at the top and choose add files to my project. Locate the Checkbox Frameworks Xcode project file in the Checkbox folder and add it. Option click the tick to show all the files. Add the Checkbox Framework to My Project's embedded binaries. I always make sure that the framework itself compiles as a first step. So choose Checkbox from the scheme list and Command B to build, and that succeeds. So choose My Project. Now to add the checkbox onto a view. In main.storyboard in My Project, add a UI view and resize it. I'll change the background color so we can see what we're doing. In the Identity Inspector, change the class of the UI view to checkbox with the module checkbox. Open up viewcontroller.swift in the assistant editor, option click, and import the checkbox framework. Right click and drag from checkbox on main.storyboard to the viewcontroller class and create an outlet with the name of checkbox. Press Command Shift K to clean the project and build it. And the build has failed because of code signing. So I'll just go and add my code signing team and try again. So that all builds correctly. Run the app with Command R. 
and you'll get your checkbox on it. Frameworks are a great way to build up code libraries and I encourage you to share any frameworks that you do build with the CocoaPods repository so that everyone can use them.